and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the brand new title update. And I don't know when it will be going live exactly, but it will be going live sometime today. And some pretty big stuff was announced. Although it was more of a quality over quantity type of update, there was a few interesting things. Now, one specifically is a big deal for even me as a Madden player. Like, guys, if it affects me, it definitely affects you guys. Considering I'm a very casual Madden player. Like, I might be a very extreme, you know, content creator. You know, I do this every day. But as a Madden, a Madden player, I'm average. You know, I'm not amazing. I'm just kind of like an average player. I'm a little maybe above average. But the point is, it affects me and i'm probably i probably play no more than all you guys do so i know this is a big impact now guys if you guys know what a title update a title update is just like a patch like i don't mean i don't want to call it a patch i'm probably botching the terminology they don't kill me but it's just like an update to the game that updates the way the game is played updates key features to the game and knowing Madden, their version of a title update usually means they'll mess something else up. But hopefully that's not the case here. Now, I'm really excited for this title update for a few reasons here. Because this is one thing. They fixed one thing specifically that has been broken for quite a while now. And nothing is more frustrating than this. So, like, I'll get, in, I'll get into all that as we get. So, I'm, I'm about to start ranting already. All right. Guys, before we get into the video, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. We're getting to, we're grinding to 20, 20 quay. We're grinding to 20k. We hit 17k yesterday. That was pretty awesome. Next big milestone is 20k. Hopefully by the end of February we can hit it. Keep on going in the family. We'll get there as soon as possible, guys. And since it is 10:30, for all you Noti Gang guys, comment down below Noti Gang if you're here in this morning. And make sure to like the video. Can we get 250 likes on this title update video? That'd be awesome. Now, guys, what was announced was something pretty big. So I have my notepad here of a few things. So obviously there were some live playbook announcements. Not the biggest deal. It's like they're gonna update some plays for some playbooks. I don't know if that's for Ultimate Team or just regular teams. Now one thing was new X Factor at Superstar KO. That was one of the minor things. So new X Factors, like let's say. Like Devin McCourty didn't have them before, he does have X Factors now. So a few new players in Superstar KO that are added with some X Factors, which is cool for all you Superstar KO players. That does kind of relate to Ultimate Team because you do get rewards or Ultimate Team based rewards to Ultimate Team by doing that. But guys, the bigger thing, the biggest thing they announced was they added something to affect the run game. Now, as you guys know, we're in the state of Madden right now where Bo Jackson, Eric Dickerson run wild like just free grazing lions, just doing what they want when they want with that speed. Now, don't get me wrong, these cards are overpowered. By all means, they should be able to do what they do. But the issue with Madden right now is that they made they gave us the most over like running backs is the only position in this game that's heavily overpowered. As well as the fact that the run game to begin with this year was made to be overpowered. As well as the defense against the run is underpowered. It all combines for very overpowered one game run game this year. But the point of this patch was to make it so that you can no longer run every single down. Or at least if you're going to do that, you can be stopped. They did pretty much was they add they edited the run commit feature. So the run commit feature was greatly modified to now work. So before, and it's sad they had to say that, right? One of the guys there said it, it like it works better now. I know it didn't work before. So to give you guys an example, nothing was worse than this, right? You run commit, like the point of run committing, right? In my opinion, if you're gonna commit to anything in Madden. That should automatically mean that you have like an 80% chance of it actually working, right? In my opinion, right? So like if I if I run commit, there should be a minimal chance you have to break. Now the only way you should break uh break a run in a run commit is this. You everyone fills gaps and there's that one cutback gap that you get. Like, I'll give it to you, you're a great runner. But nothing's worse than me run committing on stretch and all the blocks being held. So that's one of the big that's one of the key features I said with the run commit. First of all, blocks aren't gonna be held like that anymore. If you're run committing and you're overpowering the line. You get it because that, that's been the issue with madden for years now right if you're blocking five and i run commit to like 11 right the line can hold so in older maddens or even this madden what pretty much happened was if you're one lineman right here and three guys are running into you they didn't factor in shed or block shed half the time it didn't look like it at least it would be three guys ran dead into your left guard and they're stuck on him they're literally just stuck on his like his player module like his his, his, his player outline they're stuck on him so th they made it so they actually shed right off of that so first he said sheds are quicker if you run commit your sheds automatically go quicker because i can't stand when people run stretch on me and i run commit and i see seven guys across the line being held like although the whole way perfectly blocked if i'm a run regular defense by all means go ahead but if i run commit that's great now also in real life if they commit to the run the players aren't getting up in like a pass per, no they're going straight at it you see it in real life when they run commit on fourth and one every guy covers that gap the running back struggles in this game 
every block gets held and you actually sometimes when you run commit there's actually a better chance of you breaking a big run because if you get the one hole there's no one to protect you after that it's, it's very crazy how it works this year but first they did add the quicker block shedding that's one thing second he did say the players will now react more like vigorously like they will react more to the run commit. like if you run commit the players will act as if they're trying to stop a run now obviously there's run left run middle run right right there's there's multiple ways to uh, go about running how you're gonna run commit so obviously depending on which one you pick will make a better chance so obviously right can cover the middle a little bit and any run to the right left cover the left anything to the left middle is going to screw up the middle but with the way madden running backs are this year middle hasn't really worked too well because you can just cut that back sometimes considering how fast running backs are hopefully this feels it also he said they're smarter with gaps so if you guys know how this works so let's say you rank commit right and there's like the a gap the b gap let's just call it one two three four five right let's say left tackle left guard center right guard right tackle so what happened what would happen essentially is you'd call the run commit you'd have like two guys running through the one gap two guys running through the five gap and then they leave like the the, the middle like the a gap wide open and i remember seeing that and i was like and then what happens with the running back is he goes like this he, he swarms a little bit and goes right up the a 80 yards to the house and i was like that's so annoying like in real life, when you run commit, they have every linebacker and safety adjust for a gap. So make sure every gap is filled. The running back literally has to be a superman. So like the running back has to be better than you on that play to make anything happen. It shouldn't be just because you can you can move your stick a little bit to the left and right that you get an easy gap. But the point being is that they now announce smarter and quicker gaps, which uh, which should mean at the end of the day that the, the, the CPUs will fill every gap, which means for the running back to break it, Eric Dickerson with Freight Train can still probably break it. But with all the quicker sheds, he's going to have like six more guys on him. Remember though, run committing is still a risky feature. Nothing about run committing is guaranteed. You have to remember that. Run committing, you know how you out remember if you run commit and they lob it up, they're scoring on you. Now remember, run commit though, this is good for like goal line stops. Nothing has been worse for years in Madden than being on the goal line. Goal line for a lot of people means auto touchdown. If you have a strong running game or a strong offense on the goal line, you're it's over. Like you're on the one yard line. QB sneak. This year though, QB sneaks haven't been as overpowered, but then there's Eric Dickerson who makes up for that. So it doesn't really matter. So what's good about this on goal lines, like if it's fourth and one and you know they're running it, they have 11 in the box. I have 11 in the box. We're all chilling in the box. They have a, a strong tight end set and you know they're running it. You can run commit now and you can feel confident you'll stop that. They'll have to audible to a pass. But the beauty about that is when they audible to a pass, they're most likely under, uh, they're under, uh, under center on those running plays. So by the time they do their three-step drop back, you probably shed them with the way sheds are now. So run commit can actually be a pretty useful shedding defense right there on a under center fourth and one play where they have to audible to a quick slant and wait for the drop and remember on fourth and one and stuff on the goal line right there a lot of times you get picks because they have to throw the pass really quickly especially if shed's got even better they have to throw the pass super quick just to get it off without being sacked so realistically you can still get a pick on the goal line like i'm telling you run committing might actually be a little more viable this year run committing has been it sucked quite honestly it's like i play a pass defense they gash me with stretch whatever i play a pass defense they pass it i swat the ball whatever right now it's like I, they, they're running stretch. Fine, I'm gonna run commit your ass. They still gash me with stretch. They're like, okay, I'm gonna run commit you again. That's how I'm gonna get it. Now they pass it. Now it's a touchdown, right? At least the other way, I got killed by the run, but at least my pass defense is pretty solid. This way, I, I, I can't do anything. I'm telling you guys, run committing has been so broken this year. I run commit, I get one guy through the gap. The one guy who plays the gap, Eric Dickerson, Freight Train breaks it, gone to the house. I run commit, they all commit to like the three gap, right up the middle. It, like, it's just been so broken. I'm hoping this actually changes, guys. And if this does make it, Guys, if this changes how it should, Madden's going to change a little bit. The run, people can't run every down anymore because now, if run commit, like if you're going to be a guy who comes out and literally passes once a game, people are just going to start run committing. If it actually works now, you're going to have to actually pass, which could make a different dynamic to Madden. It could actually expose people who can't pass at all, as well as at least at bare minimum make you do like eight to ten attempts per game if you didn't weren't doing that already. So I really do like that. I hope this does change a little bit of the dynamic of Madden. This could be pretty interesting if it does do exactly what it's intended to do. And again, I've burst people come out first, second, third, fourth down, run, 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 run. And on fourth and short, you can run commit. Like, obviously, it's a risk, guys. So I do not advise you run commit every play. Like, I don't advise that ever. It is still going to be a very risky proposition. Smart Madden players, such as, like, how I would play. If I see you're gonna, if I see you in the box run committing, I'm, I'm, I'm shrieking one guy. I'm max protecting and I'm dragging someone. Like, I'm going to have the options. People still can panic. Don't worry. They can still panic. They still can get pressure quickly. They might get a bad throw. But more than likely, I'm going to be able to go against that. But... People who only know how to run aren't going to be able to go against that. And if you stop them early enough in the game, remember, people who run, they have to play ahead and control the clock. If you stop them on the first two drives run committing, before they can adjust, you're ahead of them now. Your passing attack might be killing them. That's what's been, that's what sucked all year about running. People would get ahead with Eric Dickerson and they would just control the clock, control the clock, control the clock, run, run, run. And you're just so frustrated because no matter how many times you score, they score back. 
remember if you can run commit now and actually stop them on that on that crucial first or that crucial fourth and one in the first game or that third and long that they're gonna run on anyways if you can stop them on those few plays you might go up on them and when you go up people they have to they have to pass now that's been the issue all year guys who run only have went up initially and they stay up with the run game so guys that is that for the video it was kind of long a lot to talk about the title update i hope i didn't drag that a little bit too much for you guys i, I had a lot to say wasn't the EA rant, was more of a run game rant. I hope this does change Madden, guys. I hope this changes Madden for the rest of the year. I hope this does help a little bit. I love to run, but I also like to pass. That, that, that's a part That's a part of Madden. Like, that's a part of the game. Hopefully, it changes some stuff, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on that bell, boys. Come join the family. Comment down below, and can we get this 1030 vid? 250 likes. That'd be greatly appreciated, guys. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.